We've come to the last way that I want to show you on how to cook and antique these plates. This is going to be an example of how to use a uh, oven roaster or turkey roaster. Using a container like this will allow you to cook about 20 plates all at one time. Then I have assembled a lot of objects that I will place between two plates. They can be just simple plexiglass ovals. They can be more complex plates like this laser cut piece. What you're going to do is take one of your objects and we'll do this alphabet piece. You're going to place it on top of a plate, add another plate on top of that, square them up, and then use clips to hold them together. The shorter time that you cook these, the more golden brown they'll be. The longer you cook them, the more black they'll be. Now I'm gonna stack these in the bottom of the roaster. My last one. Next, I'm going to make sure that everything is covered with water. I'll add a little bit more. Because so many people don't have dishwashers that really work well, I came up with this method of getting the same effect. All right, now we're going to turn it up on high heat. That looks good. Wow, they got really black. Oh, that's nice. This is the template that was cut on the laser. On the back side, I had placed this piece of stone paper that I used in the laser, and I cut some alphabet letters out of it and then sandwich that between the two plates. It's kind of interesting because just part of the letter is transferred, so it really creates a bit of an abstract pattern. Oh, I'm curious how this turns out. I put a doll's dress between two sheets, thinking maybe I could get an impression. Let's see if it worked. Well, there's the dress. Ha, huh. yes, it worked. Look at that. And let's see what happens when we pick the dress up here. Yep, that works. So the doll's dress is a fun little way to make a uh, pattern on the plate. Every batch does turn out different. That's the beauty of this process. You're going to be able to create one-of-a-kind pieces of artwork that you could not be producing if you did not produce these plates first. The next step is to take all these plates in this box of water over to a sink, add a little bit of vinegar to the box, give everything a good rinse, and then stand them up to dry. I've chosen this plate, and then I have this picture, which is an old photograph that was taken in one of the photo booths. And I wanna place it right over where this oval area is. But of course that center oval area is going to obscure the face. So what I'm going to do is use the template outside to protect this area out here that I want to keep. I'm going to use an SOS pad to scour away the patina that is in the center and in the oval area. So we'll position this right over the oval. Then immediately take your roller, push the image down, follow it all the way to the end, and take it off. 